Are you tired of the never-ending pursuit of perfection? Do you find yourself trapped in a cycle of self-doubt? Are you constantly seeking validation from others? If you answered yes to any of these and you want to take control of your mental well-being, then you're in the right place. I'm Dr. and DJ Badalia, here to help you navigate the challenges of perfectionism and improve your mental well-being. In both my careers, I've battled with this idea of trying to be perfect and it just leads to overwork, unhappiness, and eventually burnout. So today, we're uncovering the seven most compelling reasons why perfectionism is harming your mental health. Are you paralyzed by the fear of making the wrong choice? Does indecisiveness consume your thoughts and hold you back from making progress? Perfectionism impairs your decision-making ability by setting unrealistic expectations and making you fear failure. Let me give you a couple of examples. You're working on a creative project such as designing a piece of art or making a dance track in the studio like me, but your perfectionistic tendencies cause you to obsess over every tiny little detail, constantly tweaking and refining your work to achieve an impossible level of perfection. So as a result, you may never feel satisfied with the final outcome and may struggle to complete the project or share it with others. So it's time to break free from this cycle. To make confident decisions, try these actionable steps. Trust your instincts, listen to your intuition and give weight to your gut feelings. Because often our initial response holds valuable insights. Gather necessary information. This means make informed decisions by collecting relevant data and seeking different perspectives. This will provide you with a balanced view. Set realistic expectations. Understand that perfection doesn't exist and embrace the idea that mistakes are opportunities for growth. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself kindly, even if the outcome is not perfect. Learn from your decisions and just adjust the course as needed. If you're resonating with these insights, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for much more valuable content on improving your mental well-being. As a perfectionist, are you basing your self-worth on external validation? I can tell you, you are amazing as you are. And if you base your value on what you think others think about you, you will never be happy. Imagine you're a student working hard to achieve top grades in every subject. Your self-worth becomes closely tied to your academic performance. You believe that your value as a person is determined solely by your ability to excel academically and any failure or lower than expected grades leave you feeling inadequate and unworthy. So you constantly seek validation from teachers, parents and peers to validate your self-worth, relying on their approval and praise to feel good about yourself. This self-worth dependency can lead to immense pressure, anxiety and a constant need to prove yourself. I've been there before and this is what works. Surround yourself with people who appreciate and accept you as you are and build relationships that uplift and encourage your authentic self. As a DJ, I spend my time in a lot of social situations, but honestly, I can name on one hand the people who I could depend on no matter what. They care about me because I am me. Also, when you're looking for approval, look inwards for recognition and validation, not externally. Embrace your flaws and unique qualities and remember that you are inherently worthy regardless of external achievements. Have you noticed how perfectionism affects your relationships? Does the constant pressure to appear flawless strain intimacy, trust and connection with your loved ones? Imagine you're in a romantic relationship where you constantly feel the need to be perfect and meet unrealistic expectations. You may struggle with vulnerability and expressing your true thoughts and feelings, fearing that any imperfections or mistakes will lead to disapproval or rejection from your partner. I get it, it's tough to open up. Try being vulnerable with those you care about and share your imperfections and communicate openly by expressing your needs, fears and concerns with your partner or friends. This will give them the chance to support and accept you as you are. True connections are built on authenticity, not perfection. 
Are you familiar with the heavy toll perfectionism takes on your mental health? Have you ever experienced the chronic stress, self-doubt and ever had a constant sense of inadequacy? The link between perfectionism and mental health issues such as anxiety and depression is undeniable. So to prioritize your mental well-being, treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Challenge negative self-talk. Practice self-care by prioritizing activities that help you relax, reduce stress and self-reflect, like meditation, exercise, hobbies or spending time in nature. And always remember you can seek professional support from a therapist who can help you personally develop strategies for overall mental well-being. If you're finding these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more insightful content on improving your mental well-being. Do you find yourself trapped in a cycle of procrastination and avoidance? Does the fear of not meeting impossibly high standards keep you stuck in a pattern of delay? Sometimes when we're set on perfectionism, we delay and avoid taking steps in the right direction. Days turn into weeks, weeks into months, and you find yourself missing out on opportunities and falling behind. The procrastination fueled by perfectionism robs you of the chance to learn, grow, and achieve your goals. So it becomes a cycle of paralysis where the fear of failure or imperfection becomes a barrier to taking the necessary steps forward. If this sounds like you, this is what you need to do. Start with small steps to make them less overwhelming and more achievable. Set realistic deadlines for tasks and embrace the concept of good enough because perfection is not necessary for success. The key is to aim for excellence whilst accepting that imperfections are all a part of the journey. Remember, imperfect action is still progress. I'm curious to hear about your experiences with procrastination and perfection, so make sure you leave a comment below and let's discuss how we can support each other in overcoming these challenges. Has perfectionism ever blocked your creative flow? Perfectionism stifles creativity by placing rigid expectations and constraints on the creative process. So you need to develop a mindset of experimentation and embrace imperfection as a catalyst for creativity. You also need to surround yourself with inspiration, whether it's art, music, nature, or inspiring people, and develop a growth mindset. Are you sacrificing your well-being for the relentless pursuit of flawlessness? The constant need to achieve and exceed expectations can push you to work excessively, neglecting self-care and personal boundaries. Practice setting realistic work-life boundaries, prioritize self-care activities, and give yourself permission to rest and recharge. Remember, sustainable success comes from a healthy balance between work and well-being. Remember, perfection is an unattainable ideal and striving for it can take a toll on your well-being. I've created a video on habits you must avoid to stop draining your energy and optimize your performance on screen here. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you in the next video.